points. My name is Christina Kola Kaluccia. I'm the head of business advisory at Woodburn Accountants and Advisors. And in today's episode, we are going to be giving you an update on foreign investors who are traveling to China will be able to use WeChat Pay for their transactions. Now, in, in an effort to stimulate the Chinese economy and to attract international travelers since the lockdown in China, WeChat, one of China's most popular online platforms, is allowing foreign customers to link their international credit cards to the application. Tencent, the creator of WeChat, recently announced its collaboration with financial service providers such as MasterCard, um, Visa, and Discover Global Network, among others. This initiative will facilitate the transactions for foreign clients interested in using the app. Since 2019, WeChat Pay allows operations with international credit cards in specific sectors. However, with this additional service, tourists will be able to utilize WeChat Pay and link their international bank cards to make purchases at millions of merchants. Tencent is currently offering support to merchants in various sectors, including dining, transportation, retail, hospitality, as well as diverse payment methods like QR code scanning, in-app purchases, WeChat mini programs, offering added convenience to the users. Foreign customers will also benefit from fee exemptions for small international car transactions that are below 200 RMB. The Chinese government is interested in improving mobile payment solutions for tourists and increasing their convenience in making payments ahead of their major events. Since the 2022 Beijing Olympic Winter Games, authorities have encouraged domestic payment service providers to collaborate with overseas card issuers within the, the obviously within the legal and regulatory frameworks to offer mobile payment services to visitors. Large numbers of travelers are expected for various international events in 2023, such as the Chengdu FISU World University Games, the Hangzhou Asian Games, um, etc. And Tencent's expansion of the WeChat Pay Merchant Network will significantly enhance the mobile payment experience for foreigners, further promoting China as an attractive destination. Now, foreign investors can easily set up WeChat Pay on their WeChat app once they arrive in China and link their international card or credit Card, credit card or debit card to their account. With the card successfully linked, foreign customers can use WeChat Pay to make payments to merchants across these various sectors. Um, and this also includes little things like taxi rides or you know other things that will pop up in your day to day. Now, foreigners opening a WeChat Pay account do not need a local Chinese phone number to receive the verification code during the configuration process. A password is necessary to ensure the security of the account. Once the process is complete, visitors can start using WeChat Pay with their foreign card. Um, as mentioned, um, for small operations, transactions under 200 RMB will be free of charge. Above 200 RMB, there will be a 3% transaction fee. Um, and in the event of a refund, the fee will be reimbursed proportionally based on the amount. The exchange rate is calculated based on the rate of the card and the issuing bank. There are going to be some limitations customers should know about when using a foreign card with WeChat Pay. Foreign cards are restricted to daily consumption transactions and do not support special features like red packets um, and direct transfers. There are also certain transaction limits when using foreign cards through WeChat Pay. The maximum amount for a single transaction is 6,000 RMB with a monthly cumulative limit of 50,000 RMB and, 50, RMB, um, and an annual of 60,000 RMB. Alipay, WeChat's competitor, offers a similar international card service in terms of recommended usage scenarios, transaction fees, exchange rate um, calculations. However, WeChat has expanded its support for international card types by adding JCB cards while Alipay doesn't offer this um, off option. Now, while both platforms offer comparable functionalities to cater to the needs of international users in China, they employ slightly different approaches to enhance the payment experience. WeChat Pay's upgrade is specifically created for foreign users in China, offering access to millions of merchants across various sectors by allowing international credit or debit card linkage. Tencent aims to simplify payment processes for travelers and expats. In contrast, Alipay has already allowed overseas users to access lo local merchants using international cards. 
Now, in the past, foreign visitors had difficulties navigating the complexities of setting up a Chinese bank account to access mobile payment services, um, and international and debit cards were also restricted. Now, the upgraded WeChat Pay service aligns with China's broader economic goals. Um, from my point of view, in my opinion, it just means that people that are coming on short-term business trips, people that are traveling as tourists, will be able to use these WeChat Pay elements, making it much easier, predominantly because the whole cash realm in China has, has almost become obsolete. Um, and so it just gives people this ability to pay for things um, without really worrying. I hope this update has been useful to you. If you do have any questions um, regarding China, if you're struggling with the Chinese market in terms of doing business, don't hesitate to reach out. We're providing you a link to our diary. We would be happy to have a free 15 minute call with you to see if we can be of any assistance. In the meantime, if you like today's video, please share it. Please press that like button. Our mission is to help as many foreign leaders, managers, entrepreneurs um, avoid the most common obstacles in China and succeed faster. Um, and last but not least, if you would like to know what we do at Woodburn Accountants and Advisors, head on over to our website, woodburnglobal.com. You will have a full listing of our services, as well as plenty other resources in terms of short articles, uh, our eBooks, um, and our interviews with the China experts as well. You will also have access to our podcasts, both on Spotify and Apple. I wish you all a fantastic day. Take care and goodbye.